Hi YouTube, this is Char, Char Love, and we're back with another video. Um, newcomers, thank you. Uh, people who've been here, rocking with me since day one, thank you. Um, and people who even coming back, thank you. I appreciate you guys as well. Um, but today's video consists of me putting my husband Hell. in the hot seat. So. Let's get to it. Um, I'm gonna be asking him questions that I never asked him before, and I want him to answer them honestly. He better give me honesty. He better give me honesty, y'all. He better give it to me. So here we go. Let's get started. Um, do I get on your nerves to where the point you don't want to be around me? No. Why not? Because. Because what? I believe. Are you? <laughs> Y'all, okay. He probably telling the truth. I don't know, but I know I can get on somebody's nerves, you guys. Yes. I, I know really... how to ignore. Excuse me? You know they get you in more trouble when you ignore, right? No, okay, whatever. Next question. Um. Do... You think that a male can have a female friend and not sleep with them and vice versa? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you laughing. Let me find out. No, no, no. I'm no, just playing. No, I'm no. just playing. I mean, no, because it could be a situation where one person got feelings for the other person and the other person don't. You know, y'all can think y'all just cool, friends and dandy. Until some liquor get involved in that one person that got feelings. Get to flipping the script and everything get to blow up. I kind of agree with that. It's like they can, the feelings that wasn't there before the alcohol was talking mm -hmm. mysteriously appear. So that yeah, liquid courage. Yeah, it'd be like, hey, yeah, let me. Yeah. Let me. <laughs> then, I, then, then the friendship gone then and now y'all messed up and y'all not friends no more cause y'all didn't hit it off and y'all shouldn't have been hitting it off in the first place yeah so no I don't I, I, I agree with you there I agree with you Um, I don't feel like they could now it might be other people that might feel like people can be friends but I have my opinion he have his and that's what we sticking with so anyways um, I'm the only friend is there anything that we haven't tried in bed that you want to try, but just haven't mentioned it? <laughs> no, I, I think we handle all parts of that. I think we straight in that area. You sick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think of anyone else ever while we're in bed? No way. It's you, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> you bet not, bro. Okay, uh, because y'all, he already know. Because I ain't even got to say it. Anyways, um, next question. Ooh. Do you feel like me not cooking is a problem in our relationship? No way. I do all the cooking. Chef boy in the hood. <laughs> Chef boy in the hood. Yeah. He do all the cooking, y'all. I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I cook, like... Let me explain. So, it was a time where I had... Was cooking something. And I burnt myself. And I was like, I ain't doing this shit. This shit ain't for me. So, you know, I start eating real unhealthy. I was ordering DoorDash at the DoorDash. And... It's like I had infinity, uh, infinity pass with DoorDash because I would order DoorDash morning, afternoon, and night. <laughs> so yeah, when I met him, I when made, I met you, I made him some salmon. That she shit was that shit of, was lit. She did the bit of fingers off. Yeah, it was good. I ain't gonna lie, it was good. So after that point on, he just been cooking. Period. Period. Say no, let me stop. But period. Um, next question. Hmm. Hmm. Do you feel like 
holidays should be celebrated as a family within the family you created or as in with the family you grew up with or just both or what's your takes on it? It could go either way. Uh, I mean, just combine it all. It's all family. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like you can just make house stops. Like how you do on Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can go here for maybe two hours, here for an hour and 30, and then wherever you, like, your final destination type stuff, still, you can go so there crazy. and be, like, there for, like, four hours or whatever the case may be. But I like, I like family. I like being family-oriented, and I also like seeing my kids happy, you know, on the special days that, you know, yeah, so... Yeah. Um, next question. Um, hmm. Are you okay with the fact that I had a C section instead of a what nap push birth? Like like you wasn't able to get that experience with like giving me a push gift and stuff like that and you know just Seeing your baby come out. I gave you a cut gift. Yeah. So. Yeah, you did. But I'm just saying, yeah. like, it, it'd be like a different experience. No, I didn't have three C-section. I never had a push birth. So I'm like, you know, do he feel any type of way that it wasn't nothing? Like, it wasn't different? I don't, I don't, I don't feel no different. As long as you gave my baby girl, that's all that matters. And you okay. Yeah, as long as the birth went, yeah. <laughs> um okay next question hmm do you feel like you're a good kisser <laughs> what you think this that question is for you like do you feel like you've been a you good want, kisser all your life the thing is you're yeah. kissing me so yeah but what about like past I'm, life? I'm, I'm not i'm not worried about past life i'm worried yeah, about this life i know but you know what i'm saying like since like your whole life story, like since you started kissing, you feel like you've been a good kisser? I think I'm okay. What do you think? Yeah. Let me see. No, I was all right. Jesus Christ. Give me another kiss. I think I got this. All right, yeah, it was, it's good. It's good, y'all, it's good. Probably got some of stuff on my lips, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, we know what it is. Yeah, we do. Okay, next question. Do so you had to fend it off, huh? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you prefer butt boobs or both? I got the best of both worlds. Oh, God, you nasty. He nasty, y'all. So what that mean? What you mean what that mean? You got both. But what if I had one or the other? Like, what if I just had big... But big boobs and little butt, we can't, or little butt and big boobs. I'm just saying, would you be o- no, would you be okay? Ain't no what if, it's what you got. Oh my god, look y'all, he crazy. Um, hmm. Hmm. next question. Overall. Are you happy with me and being my life partner? Of course. I told you to be my, I told you to be my life partner for a reason. Hmm. Okay. Pick this up. Let me see. Do I have any other questions I want to ask you before I end this video? Or do you have any questions for me? My high seat, my choice. <laughs> Y'all, he's scared to ask me questions that's all it is because i be wanting to know how he feel and what he thinking about because she's supposed to be asking me questions i'm, I'm start, asking I'm him questions cut down counting down from 30 30 seconds ain't that's how it go yep. no mm-mm, nope mm-mm, nope no nah. um hmm oh did i I don't think I asked this one. Do you ever feel like 
I just be doing too much in certain situations. <laughs> it depends. It, de- it, it depends on what's the situation. Okay, explain that because what, what do I do too much? <laughs> Next question. No! <laughs> <laughs> When do I do too much, yo? Tell me when do I do too much? Because I want to know. We all want to know. You do enough. When do I do too much, though? Like, it... give me an example. No? Or you can't give me an example? Next question. Just going to leave it alone. Yeah. I don't like... think we should leave that one alone. Wait, because... I, I, take, I take a drink. You going to take a drink? Yep, yeah, I take a drink. Okay. Um... Hmm. I think I think that I want to ask another question. Um. Hmm. Do you prefer to fish or to? Cuddle with me. Let's see, it's getting real hot. On like on a Sunday. I can do both. No, I can go fish you gotta in the pick morning one. and cuddle with you. Pick in the one. No, pick one because you. Cause you we, we, we got a whole Sunday. Would you choose fishing over me? No. But, but you just said we got a whole Sunday. But we do if you want to be the fit. whole Sunday, meaning from sun up to sundown, middle evening, day, whatever it is. We gotta be cuddling, snugged up, watching movies, drinking coffee or some hot chocolate or some tea or something. See, we have been doing that. I haven't been fishing. Okay, yeah, you're right. But you still wanna go fishing, right? Yeah, I do, but I haven't been. I'm waiting for first ice, so. Okay, so you wanna go fishing first ice. Okay, that's, that's understandable. I'm cool with that. Um, hmm. Had to put a fish in this seat got real hot. Yeah, because she hit a nerve. Okay, would you prefer warlock fishing or she ain't really saying it right, but I, I catch her drift. What's some other little fishy stuff? The one fishes. Okay, we off topic, y'all. I'm asking off topic questions. I don't know why, cause I, I didn't run out of questions. Um, hmm, I'm about to ask him a question though. Uh, have, was there ever a time where you have like disrespected somebody elderly? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, old people, wow. But I ain't gonna say I necessarily disrespected them. Because I'm 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 very manable. Uh-huh. You know, yes sir, yes ma'am. But I think it was a time or two. Because they can get real like they get naggy. I'm no offense to whoever elderly watching this. It's some good yeah, elderly people y'all probably out here. The good ones, but it's but the, it's some elderly people out here who will literally like you know, you, you had to hit them with, you know, I respect, my el- I respect my elders, but I'm a grown person too, so I respect, respect is earned. You got to earn respect to get respect. They be out here naked and get off my grass. <laughs> <laughs> Like, hey, hold on, wait a minute, I ain't on your grass. Wait, on I thought that was something back Gr- in the day, day. Gr- and they said, you Gr- know. Growing up, we used to play catch. The ball, don't let the ball go on somebody's grass. It's over, your ball is gone. I'm going my grass. Yeah, like, I ain't going to lie to have my share. But we ain't, it's ain't, this ain't about me. Yeah, you, I didn't have my share of disrespect to older you're people. You're a different breed. I did, because, shoot, I feel like. I'm the same one. If you disrespect me, it's up there. Like, swimwear, period. That's how it got to be. Like, because it's all hands on deck. Nah. I not real. Never mind. We ain't going to talk about me. We ain't, this ain't about me. It's about your hot seat and how you feeling. Um, I think my seat cooling down. Yours might be getting hot. Okay. Is there ever a time where... I'm putting the phone down, freestyling, y'all. 
Is there ever a time where the kids just around and you be wanting to like I don't know. I don't know how to ask that. I was about to ask a question about like, you know, is there ever a time like when the kids around and then that I'm around and that we all just get on your nerves as a whole, like and you just be wanting to just say, eh, let me get out of here. Or, that baby. <laughs> baby can't get irritating sometimes, y'all. She get real irritated. That's my baby. I love her to death, but she going through her little get away stage, telling people to get away, go away. Everything hers. Yeah. She, she going through that. She going through that little stage. Yeah, she so. most definitely going through like a a little baby stage, and it's it ain't even terrible too yet, cause she ain't even two. She won. But she she, she escaped her playpen. Yeah. Then she will look at you like, mm-hmm, yep, I did it. Yeah. But, yeah. My baby, I love her though. But. Yeah, she do be uh She's something else. Ooh, I be wanting to run away. <laughs> Everybody. She's something else. Um hmm. But besides that, no, I don't. Okay, um hmm. What's your favorite childhood memory? My favorite childhood memory. I got a lot of them. I got a lot of great childhood memories. Uh, Honey, you got the same one. Let me see. I might give you a couple. Okay. Let me see here. Great childhood memories. I remember my grandfather uh, used to get ready for work. I used to sit on the floor at a bathroom while he was shaving. And I used to always ask him, can I come to work with you? He used to play, oh, not today, not today. And one time he actually took me. I remember that. That was a good childhood memory for me, my grandfather, rest in peace. Yeah. And my grandmother used to cook every single Sunday every Sunday, and it was a, a, a gang of us all used to come over. We used to all be over there. And she, I mean, she used to cook a ton of food. She used to make cakes, pies, cobblers. It was, it was the good days, man. It, it made me feel old. But it was some good memories I had. Yeah, it do be a good memorable moment when you can sit up here and still have those memories of like you know things that happened to you in pe- in the past life I mean not in the past life but like the past like the, uh, yes, the past. with people that is no longer here it's like it's good to have the yeah. memories like good that people made memories with you memorable memories and, and it was, you're able to have those and always keep those in forever with you and, like, and this wasn't just every other Sunday or every other weekend. This was every single weekend. We used to all, all be over my grandma's house. Banged out like <laughs> turn up. Yeah, yeah for real. No, for real. We used to over there playing cards, playing Monopoly, you know, playing spades. We used to tump. We used to those those was the good days. Yeah. I always been family orientated. And then my family always been tight like glue. Doing some, doing some good memories of my grandmother and my grandfather. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got another question. All right. I got another question. I got another question. Oh. Say it loud for the people in the back in here. I got another question, y'all. Um. Um. Hmm. Let's start counting down. 
Oh, shit. no, you can't. You can't. You can't. I know, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, I'm over here like... Hmm. What's on your bucket list? Like, what's something you want to do in life that you haven't done yet? Something that I want to do. My bucket list. It's not at the tip top of my bucket list, but it's on my bucket list. I want, I want to catch a salmon. Now we back to fish. It's on my bucket list. Yeah, but it is on your bucket list, so that's a fair, that's it's, a fair it's, quest, it's uh, a, response. It's on my, I got, a, I got a few things on my bucket list. I want to skydive. I want to do that too. Me and me and, and Nick was talking about skydiving. So, Nikki, you watching this video? It's still up here. I'm scared, dog. Bungee jumping. I'm afraid of height, but I'll do it. But I'm just gonna die. I feel like I'm gonna die in the air and then come back to life, man. <laughs> it's, it, it's, 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 a, it's a few things I wanna do. Scuba um, diving. Okay. What is your biggest regret in life? Now I know that 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 can. Really, like, see, see, you be take, something. You taking it there. But, you don't, okay, if you don't want to answer it, just take a drink. <laughs> or if you want to answer it, go ahead. Jesus Christ, I don't know how to answer it. Don't answer it, then take a sip. It must be that. I want to answer it, but I don't know how to answer it. see. What don't? You just skip over it. Um... Hmm. And la it's my last question. Cause we gonna skip over that last one, y'all. That people have regrets in life that it's just be it just be hard to speak on. You, you don't even know how to say it. It just be like you be wanting to say it, but you just can't. Like I got some regrets too, now, but you know this ain't about me. This ain't my hot seat. But sometimes that that question be hard to answer. So we just gonna tell them take a drink to it. I'm gonna take another one. You <laughs> gonna take another one? Um, what are you most thankful for? And this is my last one, y'all. So we're gonna make we gonna wrap this video up. I got a few things I'm thankful for. You want them all? I mean, you want a few of them, or you just want one? Mm, say like two. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for you, of course. Since you came in my life, I'm thankful for that. Yeah. And, you know, that's all I speak on. What you give me too? Yeah, no, that's all I speak on. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, y'all, that concludes our video of putting him in a hot seat. Um, but yeah, how? He got real hot. <laughs> How did you like your questions, you know, so far? They were, they were, they were smooth. They were too. They were too? Too crazy. But they was questions I never really asked yeah. you, wasn't it? You never asked me those questions. Yeah. Cause them, I, I could have never, like, I was all, I'm honestly shocked I asked him any questions or whatever, like them type of questions, because I never would have asked him. Um, not that I didn't want to know or whatever the case may be but it's just like some things you don't be feeling comfortable with asking because you never gonna really know like what type of response they gonna give so yeah um that just about like i said concludes this video if you like this video or if you want more videos like this one um like comment and subscribe Leave your comment down below, share this video, and you guys stay blessed and safe out there, you know? Yeah.